Okay. One of the first things that you have to do to uh, be able to run something like virtual of Ox or, or uh, VMware uh, work, workspace or workstation, um, you'll need to, most BIOS, uh, the, you'll see something along the lines of a CPU configuration. There will be something here that will um, enable this Intel VTX technology. Um, it's something along the lines of virtualization technology. You need to make sure that this is enabled. And then you want to make sure that you save these changes. I will say that we'll take this from disabled to enabled. Hit OK. And that's all you need to do. OK, I'm going to uh, set up um, VirtualBox and Windows on a Linux machine. Um, this is my machine. It has, let's see here. I am remoted to it um, using remote desktop. And the the version of this, this Linux machine, um, this is an actual physical machine. It is a, uh, my Taiki machine. I named it Taiki, and then um, it has uh, Pop OS installed on the machine. Uh, 2204 LTS. It's a Debian flavor. Or uh, actually, this is uh, coming from Ubuntu. Um, let's see here. The things that I want to download. Um, this is Oracle here. Uh, VirtualBox, Oracle VirtualBox. There's a Linux distribution and uh, the actual version 2204 that matches um, the, the OS that I have installed. Um, I have already downloaded this file, because it takes some time. Uh, this is a file. And the other file is from Microsoft Developer, um, a, a Windows 11 development environment. Um, I downloaded this virtual box version. And again, I uh, downloaded this ahead of time because it takes a little bit of down time to download. It's uh, 22 gigs. Um, so going back to my console, my terminal, um, I'm going to go to the downloads folder. And the other thing that I did was I unzipped this file. Uh, Simply to unzip that, you just use um, unzip and then the, the name of the zip file. I'm not going to do it here because, again, it takes a little bit to uh, unzip this file and it's about 22 gigs uh, as well. Uh, to install VirtualBox, um, you can do a sudo abt uh, install and then that uh, db file for VirtualBox. Okay, and then we can, it's gonna prompt you to log in. Um, we can go ahead and start VirtualBox. It's gonna ask for permissions to run. Just close that. Here you will uh, import, find that OVA file under downloads. And next, um, leave all of this just default, finish. Okay, and then you should be able to just start this.
another thing that I um, wanted to do with uh, VirtualBox um, that usually you do at the, the very end after installation is uh, you go to here, uh, Devices, and Upgrade Guest Editions. This will install a bunch of um, things to make the OS kind of scale, or the VM scale, uh, the desktop appropriately, and do a lot of other things with the uh, various I.O. devices. So now that that's installed, if you were to expand, you can kind of see that um, VM kind of can go into this kind of full screen mode here. Um, and then you can you can use the, uh, the VM just like this. Okay, and another thing that you can do is if you hit the right control button um, and then F when you're in the VM, it can switch to full screen mode. Uh, you can suppress this message here, switch, and you can see how it's in this full screen mode and it makes it look like this is just your desktop. Uh, control F, uh, so that way you can kind of see the uh, VM information here. So you can actually even um, shut down this machine this way, or you can shut it down just like you normally would uh, for, for Windows. And this brings you back to your desktop in the Linux machine.